Okay, so what I just showed you there was the upbox printer and you could hear a tapping sound. I want to just show you a few things here. Now, this is one of the upbox extruder motors and this little cover here with its bearing sits over the top like so like that. Now what I've done is I've measured everything and on Autodesk Fusion 360 I've redrawn that. So there's the original and there's the model. Except that instead of a nylon shaft for the bearing now I use a three millimeter uh, screw or bolt which goes in that end there it goes all the way through so that bearing is now sitting on a steel shaft and what I'm finding is that if we go back here we're not getting uh, extrusion failure so where you hear that tapping sound, that's the extruder still gripping and occasionally slipping on the filament, but it's still gripping. It's not actually wearing a groove into the filament, which is the main thing. I was plagued by extrusion feed problems with these up boxes. But I don't know if you can see it, if I put the finger on there, you won't be able to see it, but I can feel that filament going through. So it's still getting pulled in. And this is the big issue. They're great printers, but I was plagued with extrusion feed failure. So now it just keeps tapping away. Once it's gone past that first couple of layers, it'll settle down and you won't hear that tapping sound anymore. Now, with the upbox printers, I never had this issue uh, because the extruder was designed very well. The bearing was spring-loaded against the... Uh, I have an example right here actually. So you can see here's, a, here's uh, the parts out of a uh, Da Vinci printer. It's got a massive extruder motor by the way. Very well designed. And the roller, here's the roller here, would sit on this shaft and this is the spring that would pull that up against there. So there was never extrusion feed failure on these guys. But the upbox system is very simple. Uh, I have noticed that they've got a soft filament feeder which is spring loaded which should counteract that issue to some extent. So there you go. Fingers crossed this print will work out. Uh, by the way if anyone emails me for that design I'd be happy to share it with them.